Hey guys! In a shocking turn of events, we are enjoying another 50 degree warm sunny day in February. I feel like I talk about the weather a lot, but in February, weather like this is so bizarre. So, what's up, Andino? I need to trim Goose's mane, but I feel like I need a hand. Uh, to hold him for that and I, no one has been here. Anyways, we are um, actually on vlog two of the week in a shocking turn of events since I feel happy and back in my groove. I'm thanking some sunshine for that. Uh, Z was such a good boy in group jump school last night. I will pop a quick clip in here. We aren't filming a lot during Team Jump uh, just to kind of focus on watching other people's rides, but uh, someone did film this uh, last run through the grid for me, which was great. Anyways, I am continuing on the theme of just getting things done today. So I am mucking stalls while the ponies are eating breakfast this morning. Then I have some lunging to do. I've been incorporating a uh, jump lunge day for Richie so that he can still do some footwork and jump around a little bit. Um, I love to incorporate free jumping or like uh, lunge jumping with the young horses, really any horses, but um, young and green horses. I feel like it's really a chance for them to figure out their own footwork without the impact of any rider whatsoever. So. I will try to film some of that for you guys today, but I love doing that um, as he's four coming five. Uh, it's a great thing to incorporate for him, especially in the winter months, um, rather than doing lots of other jumping. With our young horses in the winter, because we're not out competing or anything, they tend to get some downtime from jumping, especially. I mean, most of our horses are getting downtime from jumping in general. We're doing a lot of low level footwork type stuff, canter poles, cavalettis, things like that. Um, but instead, subbing in a lunge day for the young green horses has been um, just a great training tool for us. So I'm already starting to just talk, uh, but I'm gonna jump right into some chores this morning. I have horses to beamer and massage and things. And then we will do uh, some lunge jumping with Richie, hopefully. Honestly, it's been um, just such a relief to take a break from wearing my suit for a couple of days. It's been a nice break. I was gonna do Rex next this morning, but he's clearly having his morning nap, so we will let him rest. And I'm gonna long line Z instead. Um, I've been doing lots of long lining with Z to kind of help him get the feel of the contact without me on his back. I think I struggle sometimes to get the balance um, because he's a little bit built downhill and he's still learning to put his hind end under him. So utilizing the long lines has been super helpful for me. And uh, I try to incorporate that a couple times a week for him. So I'm just letting him be my first. And then I will kind of jump right into the long lining stuff today. I am gonna voice over just a couple clips because I've been doing a couple interesting exercises with him to help with his stifles and his suppleness on the ground so that when we do do some dressage work under saddle, we're a little bit softer and more relaxed. So that's really helpful. You look silly right now, like you're in a costume. Yeah. Guys, it's like shockingly warm. I can't even see, the sun is so bright. Anyways, I'm taking this goober out.
So to warm up, I'm connecting a side rein as an outside rein, and I'm trying to get him on a small circle to cross over with both his inside hind leg and his inside front leg. Um, kind of just stepping over to kind of loosen everything up. Z is still working on being good at this without just crossing over in his hind end and not with his shoulder front end. Uh, Richie is actually really good at this, so that's what I'm trying to work on in the beginning here and just kind of loosening up his stifles and working on some suppleness it also helps them focus in the beginning, which is nice. So I swapped sides and did that on the other side as well. That's a great warm-up exercise for him. And then I'm kind of jumping right into some side rein lunge work here. I always encourage in the beginning if he wants to walk and stretch and just be loose that I'm totally okay with that on a little bit of a looser contact. It may be hard to tell in the video in the beginning, but I said I was going to be long lining today and I actually started him in the side reins today and we were having some really good work in those. So he ended up just doing some lunging in side reins today, which um, was just what he needed. So in the beginning here, I'm really trying to connect with him in the outside rein and he has the tendency to fall in on the circle. So I'm trying to push his body away from me, have him bend a little bit to the outside and lean into that outside rein. Unfortunately, my camera did not continue to record. I think when I reformatted my memory card the other day, <laughs> I set it up so that it stopped recording after five minutes. I don't know what I did wrong, but uh, as you can see here, he has some really nice, loose, stretchy trot work to start, and I'm really happy to let him go and do that, and some really good, solid contact as well. I like to add in a lot of transitions, too, when we're doing lunge work, as it's just a great uh, way to help him rebalance himself so he doesn't get too heavy on his front end. Again, unfortunately, that's kind of all I have of Z today, and so we're going to move on. So moving along to Rex, I skipped filming the warm-up exercises and I'm kind of jumping right into the long lining. He doesn't really do a lot of side rein uh, lunge work at this point. He's a little more advanced than the other two. Just like Z, I'm really trying to get him into the outside rein to start. And he, because he's more advanced, we're doing a little more of like a counter flexion exercise. Sometimes when he doesn't want to do that at the walk, he can break to the trot because Rex likes to just go and move on quickly. Even more so than Z, Rex really likes to stay on more of a traditional lunge circle. So I really struggle to kind of get him out and away from me which is why it seems like our circle is so small as he starts to get into his trot work. Because Rex is more advanced in his training, we can really fluctuate between stretchy work and a working trot and a collected trot, which is really a lot of fun on the long lines. And he always comes out with lots of energy and a great attitude, happy to work. It's really important that when I do the canter work, I'm able to be soft through my arms and I'm really moving with them, which Rex thankfully makes pretty easy. And uh, we had a lot of good quality work today and enjoyed the sunshine. So that was nice. I don't know if you guys can see me with the sun in my eyes like this. Hi, Lexi. Um, so two down and just Richie to jump lunge now. And then that's a wrap on this lunging vlog. <laughs> Oof, okay. It is now dark out and the day went by so quickly, but we had so much fun enjoying such a nice warm sunny day here on the farm. Hopefully uh, my trainer took some video of me free lunging Richie because it was super fun. I didn't take my camera out there though, so um, I don't know if I'll have footage of that or not, but if so, I will pop all that in here. We had such a great time. He's such a star and I love free lunging. It's such a great way for them just to figure out their feet on their own. 
Um, that is a wrap on the day. I'm gonna head home since it's dark outside. And uh, I will see you guys next time. Thanks so much for watching the vlog and sticking it out with me. And we are back in the groove now. I feel good. All right, bye.